Hey guys, and welcome to this video on a Combat Utility Belt. Today we're going to be discussing on how to automate it to its full potential. Now, we're going to be using two modules to pull this off. Day and MIDI. So to get a good reference, you're going to want to head over to Day's GitLab page and take a look at some of the flags that you can use. All of these data resource secondary max, uh, all of these particular lines you can use within uh, your conditions. And if we take a look at MIDI's, uh, here is a lot of flags that we can use as well. This deals with advantage and, and disadvantage. And also various other things such as damage resistance, no criticals, those two could play into your conditions. So make sure to use both of these pages to your advantage. Now to get started with Cub, you're going to need to have the Condition Lab. Um, if you do not see the button for the Condition Lab, you just need to simply click on Cub, go into the Enhanced Conditions, and make sure some of these are checked. You can go ahead and enable uh, advanced uh, enhanced conditions here and then make sure to remove the default status conditions um, it, you don't need the duplicate amount of conditions and it'll really clean up uh, things when when toggling on conditions uh, via the right click on a token here I'll show you what I mean so we got this token here and if I right click on it you can only see the ones from cub if I were to go ahead and uncheck this and then save it and then re-click again, now you can see all of the core default conditions as well as the ones that come with Cub. And that's just way too much clutter. Now, as far as some of these conditions, some of them are just not able to apply actual effects to them. So majority of those I'm just going to flat out skip. Uh, they should be better role-played uh, than in trying to add possible effects to them. But if you can figure out a way how to uh, pull something off with them, go ahead. So let's go ahead and cover Blinded. So for here, you can see that we're using flags from MIDI. The top one grants advantage to all attackers who are attacking the selected token that has Blinded on it. However, the Blinded token itself has disadvantage on all attacks. Now let's look at exhaustion level one. Through here you can see that it updates the sheet to exhaustion level one with an override. Then the second line gives them disadvantage on ability checks. Again, with rank 2, we're going to up the exhaustion level to 2 on the character sheet. Then we're going to go ahead and make their speed uh, halved. To do this, you just simply set multiply 0 0.5 and it will cut the value in half. And then of course we're carrying on the disadvantage on ability checks. For exhaustion rank 3, we're raising it up to 3. We're giving them now disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. And then also the, the all the previous things from 2 and 1. With rank 4, now we're having their max HP and applying everything from ranks three and under. Exhaustion level five now reduces their speed to zero and then also carries on the other effects from four to one. 
I'm not really going to cover rank 6 because that's death. For Frightened, we're going to go ahead and use MIDI flags for this. And we're going to set Disadvantage on Ability Checks, and then as well as Disadvantage on All Attacks. For Grappled, all it does is reduce the target's speed to zero. For Invisible, I use uh, Condition Visibility, so I don't need to put in anything that sets the token to hidden. If you want, you can add a macro to this that sets the target to hidden, and then within MIDI, you can actually enable an option in there to allow that player to see their token. But for this case, we're going to go ahead and use two flags for a MIDI, uh, one that gives disadvantage to all attackers attack attacking that particular token, and then this token itself will have advantage on all attacks uh, towards other targets. For Paralyzed, you want to go ahead and set all their movement to zero, and then give them failing on Strength and Dexterity saving throws, which you can do with MIDI and then also give advantage to any attackers on that particular target. This is Petrified. So, much like Paralyzed, you can use a lot of the same uh, effects for that with this. So, we're going to make the Strength and Dex saves, auto-fail, give advantage to anyone attacking it, and then, however, we are going to give them damage resist. And then also, with the uh, condition uh, immunity uh, to poison and disease, and then I'll also make their speed zero. Poisoned gives the target disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks, so we've seen these flags that we've used before, and then we're just going to go ahead and use them again. This is prone. As you can see that creatures have advantage when attacking this target, but then have disadvantage when attacking by melee. And then also, you'd give the creature itself disadvantage on all attack rolls. Restrained. And here you can see that the creature's movement becomes zero. And then all attack rolls against this particular creature have advantage. However, the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. And then it also has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. With stunned, the creature cannot move, so you're going to set all of its movement to zero. And then it also automatically fails any dex or strength saving throws. And then creatures that attack it have advantage. Unconscious. So, the creature has no movement, and it falls prone. It also fails all dexterity and saving, dexterity saving throws. Attacks against the creature ha have advantage. And then, all attacks made within have, that are melee, have instant critical. Now, that's just an example of how you can set up conditions in your game. I will go ahead and provide a Patreon link down in the video's description of all of these pre set up so if you want you can import them into your game and have it all already set up for you. Thanks for watching this video on Cub. In my next video, I'll probably cover Trigler, where you can go ahead and set up such effects as Bloodied, Defeated, and also hide the defeated tokens out of the combat track. I want to give a great shout out to my Patreon followers. Thank you guys so much. And I'll go ahead and list any details I may have forgotten in the video description down below. Thanks again. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.